There's an Apple Watch and iPhone app called Watchler that lets you control your Tesla from your watch. And up to now, that app has used the Tesla API over the internet to control the car. But in the same way that the Watch app for Tesla has just had an update to allow Bluetooth connectivity to the car, Watchler can now do the same thing. So a little bit of background, what I'm talking about is a third party app. The Watchler app and the Watch for Tesla app are both third party independent, separate from each other and separate from Tesla. There is no official Apple Watch app from Tesla. So if you want to control your Tesla from your watch, we are looking at these third party apps. So the way they've worked up to now is they've used the Tesla API to send signals over the internet to control the car. But now both of these apps can use Bluetooth when you're near your car to control the car without going via the internet. So that means they can work with no internet connection, but also means it's much, much faster. And of course, it enables the Bluetooth phone key, which is a proximity thing. So you just walk up to the car and you can get in and also walk away lock is supported as well. It does just seem as if you have to actually open the app on your watch before the proximity Bluetooth phone key will work. So you just tap a complication to launch the app, then you can approach the car and it'll let you in. Now, the cool thing about the Bluetooth control is it's not just used for the proximity phone key unlocking and walk away lock. It actually can be used for sending a couple of different commands, including the frunk and the charge port, as well as unlocking the doors. So it can be used without an internet connection to actually perform those kinds of interactions as well. So since I've got the Apple Watch Ultra, I've been very interested in this idea of leaving my phone behind more and more. And now these Tesla Apple Watch apps can use Bluetooth that really allows that to happen. So what it means is even if my phone or the car haven't got an internet connection or you've got a watch that doesn't have a cellular connection, you can still use that watch as a Bluetooth phone key. Interestingly, this app is priced a lot lower than the Watch for Tesla app and there are quite a few differences in the features available. And I'll do a comparison video later looking in more detail at these two apps, I think, because they're super interesting. But actually the user interface on Watchler seems a lot slicker than the Watch for Tesla app, in my opinion. In particular, the digital crown seems a bit more utilized and the buttons on the screen are larger and easier to tap. And the example of that is the confirmation buttons when you fire a command, it asks you if you, you're sure you want to do that. The buttons on the Watchler app are a lot bigger and easier to tap than the ones on Watch for Tesla. And they look a bit more consistent with the Watch OS look and feel. I was also really impressed with the Watchler onboarding. It guides you through the process of setting it up as the Bluetooth key in the car. It makes it all very simple and easy to get your head around. It's a very elegantly designed app. I really like it. I think for now, I'm actually going to switch to Watchler and that more simple, elegant interface, although it is missing quite a few features compared to Watch for Tesla. This channel is only going to be about Tesla content, so definitely worth subscribing. A lot of people are a little bit concerned about security using a third party app to control your car like this. And I've done another video, which you should definitely watch next, that looks at how these API based third party products work with the Tesla and, and explore if it is actually a security risk or not. And I'll see you there.